Hello. Welcome to the second part of our IB Expert Extract Metadata Tutorial. So, I have just extracted the Employee Database Metadata. This page here is important for those who may wish to make a few changes manually, as you can work with a customized block here. IBE Block is IB Expert's own script language, which allows you to manipulate and run your extract script at will. For example, if I copy this block here into the clipboard and start the IB Expert SQL editor with F12, first of all I'll go to the directory. Here we can see the files which the extract metadata has created. See IBE EXP for export. The script can be passed on and run on any database, eliminating the need for a qualified administrator to perform the extract each time you need a copy of the database. So, I'll show you how it works. You can start quite normally in any script editor with the execute IBE block command. And all this, which we specified in the extract metadata, has been taken into account here. And when I start this, you can see in the grey row at the top exactly what is being executed by the so-called CBB, the callback block. And you can see here that the files have been automatically generated again. But what sort of files has IB Expert created? These files are created when you specify separate files for the extract. They begin with the file ibe$start.sql. IB Expert generates a file containing the objects necessary for the recreation later. Here are the procedures with a dummy. By that I mean a simple exit command. Because the procedures could call each other or be called by triggers, which will lead to errors if they are created in the wrong order. All the tables are there as well as the procedures and the view. And the computed by fields are completed here. That is all done by IBE dollar start SQL. IBE dollar finish SQL starts after all data has been created and now proceeds to specify constraints, unique constraints, primary keys, foreign keys, indices and so forth are created along with triggers for tables and views. The source code is finally inserted into the stored procedures. Here you can see the procedures complete with their code. And right at the end the roles are created and privileges granted. The runme.all.sql executes all this in the right sequence. This contains the sequence of the database objects. And if you wish to create a database with data, excluding only certain data sets, for example, you wish to exclude all data sets in the country table, you only need to delete this row to ensure that there is no data in the country table in your new database. Although if you use this simple solution in the sample employee database, you will encounter errors, at the latest when IBE dollar finish SQL tries to create foreign keys and fails. This is of course something you will need to look at with your own database before taking such action. So, these are the files created by IB Expert. I shall now show you a small trick. Let's say I want to create a database in a totally different directory. IBE backslash dev underscore copy dot FDP. Here is the username and password. Here is the page size. 
And here I have the option to alter the character set for the whole database. Very useful if you did not realize the importance of character sets when originally creating your database. This method allows you to alter any character set to any other, converting all data automatically using IB Expert's scripting capabilities. So, here I've simply changed the path to this file. And now I shall execute this file. So I open the script executive and open the file using the right click menu item load from file or key combination control and L. And go to the directory where I've stored the files. That was IBE subdirectory exp. And there is the runme.all.sql. I only need this file as it automatically executes all the other files, as you can see here. And when we execute this, we can see that a new database is being created. Up here in the grey row, you can see the messages published by IB Expert as a return comment for successfully executed statements. If you use the command line version, IBE script, you will also see these same messages in the DOS window. And you can see that a complete database copy has been created in 15 seconds. If I go back to the directory, you can see here that the database dev underscore copy FDB has actually been created. So let's now go back and take a look at the options Extract Metadata has to offer. You've already seen that these functions can also be executed by a script. I'll take this complete script, right click with the mouse, save to file and save it. I'll keep it simple and call it exp.sql. Now on to the next step. I'll go back to the directory where I was previously and delete everything that has been generated so far. It doesn't matter that I've deleted it as I, I can create it again at any time by running the script. So let's take a look at the script possibilities offered by IB Expert. There's a command line IB Expert version which you can use to automate such tasks. You can find it under Program Files, on Windows 64-bit machines, of course, under 32-bit programs. Then go to HK Software, IB Expert Directory, and start ibescript.exe and run ibe backslash exp.sql. This scripting tool offers you the possibilities provided by IB Expert. However, the IBE block functionalities are unfortunately not supported in the IB Expert trial version. For that, you need a full IB Expert version. But you can rest assured you can execute all SQL scripts as shown here also in command line mode. I'll demonstrate IBE Script Exe in more detail in a separate tutorial at a later date. What is also important to note is that IB Expert also offers this version as a DLL. Again, you require a full IB Expert version to fully utilize this. And for companies who may wish to pass on such scripts to their customers, in order, for example, to automatically update metadata and such like, they can do this with the IB Expert VAR license. And the site license allows you to distribute such scripts freely within your own company. You can find further information regarding the IB Expert licensing policy at our website www.ibexpert.com. So, that was the second part of our tutorial, Extract Metadata. It now continues with the last part, Extract Metadata Part 3